Okay, lesson on break even price. Obviously, when you buy shares, your intention would be to sell them for, for profit later. You want to buy low and sell high. You don't want to invest in crypto. You'll just be losing money. From previous exercises, you've seen that when you sell shares, you must pay the brokerage in GST. What does that mean? When you sell your shares, you need to sell them for more than what you bought them for. Because if you sold them for the same, you're going to be down brokerage in GST. So it's useful to know the price where you can sell your shares and neither make money nor lose money. Why? Because this is the break-even price. This tells me if I sell for more than this line, I'm going to make money. If I sell less, I'll lose money. So that's what the break-even price is telling you. You can calculate the break-even price using one of two different formulae based on what kind of brokerage was used. So what should go on your cheat sheet is these two formulae. The first one is the one you're going to use if brokerage was a percentage. Small b, bracket 1 plus 1.1r, bracket over 1 take 1.1r. What does a small b stand for? That's the buying price per share. Every year, people stuff this up and they find the cost of buying. But I always write the note, buying price per share. And then r is the brokerage rate as a decimal. If your break-even price is a flat fee, you have a slightly simpler formula. According to bed mass, what does B stand for? Bracket. Are there brackets in those formula? Mm. So there's something that you need to do first. If you don't do it in the right order, you'll probably get the answer wrong. So follow bed mass. Break-even price when it's a flat fee brokerage, you have 2.2 F over N, all in brackets, so do that first. And then you add the buying price per share. Does anyone see an N in the first formula? No. Does the N... So does it matter at all the number of shares if the brokerage was a percentage? Doesn't factor into it. That you, there's some trick questions in your book that tell you the number of shares when the brokerage was a percentage. And people ask me, where do I put the N? Is there a formula? Does your formula have an N in it? No. If it's brokerage percentage, so you don't need the number. Get those two formula down, please. I'll give you some writing. Too. Why aren't you going to be here for photo day? I got my fat on Wednesdays. Okay. So I don't know how that's going to work. They've got. There's a um, catch up on a Thursday, okay. the week after. Cool. Sorry, Thank you. Have it. Yeah, yeah. So, and then someone arced up at the teacher meeting because we have kids that are away on vet and you're going to put it on the same day. Let's try brokerage break even price. What's up? You alright? Why are you rubbing his page like that? Calculate the break even price for shares bought at $5.80 each given a brokerage rate of 2%. Based on that question, am I using the top formula or bottom one? Top. top, because it's a brokerage percentage. Maybe indicate percentage under there so that you don't stuff up. What was the buying price per share? In that question, five dollars eighty. Five dollars eighty is my small b bracket one plus one point one r. What is two percent as a decimal? 0.02. Times by zero point zero two. So I've done the top of the formula, a long line along the bottom. One take one point one times by you already told me it was zero point zero two. So I need to do what's in the brackets first. And then, okay, you've already said in your head that I'm dealing with the brackets first. Bed mass applies within the brackets too. 
What am I going to do first in the bracket? B, B for bracket. There's no exponent there. Is there a division inside the bracket? No. Is there a multiplication? Yeah. So I need to do the multiplication first and then add the 1 to it. So unfortunately, you don't get to see the calculator. It appears on my screen. So I'm going to go 1.1 times 0 0.02. That's the multiplication. Then add 1 to it. So that's going to be 1.022. So the working out I've got at the top, $5.80 times by 1.022 over. I can do some maths on the bottom. What would I do first along the bottom? The subtraction or the multiplication? Multiplication, it's always more important. So 1.1 times 0 0.02. And now I need to do 1 minus 0 0.022. So 1 minus 0 0.022. We've got 0 0.978. Notice that I haven't lost accuracy. I didn't round or anything. I just spat out what the calculator says. I need to do what, $5.80? 5 dollars 80 8 times by 1.022 divided by 0 0.978. So we've got $6.06 .06 to two decimal points. So yes, while I might have bought the shares at $5.80 each, I have to pay someone for brokerage. I need to pay someone GST. Therefore, I need to sell those shares for $6.06 .06 later to cover those fees. Otherwise, I lose money. Any questions about that? All right, I'll give you some writing time. And I'll stop the video. Does anyone have the timeline open? Yeah. Um, what exercises are selling and break-even price? Uh, EX 4D and EX 4E. I think we'll start your um, shares DI a week early. That doesn't mean the, that I'll move the due date. The due date will remain the same. You'll get a bonus week because you've been working your ass off. Okay? Do the practice, please. 4D and 4E. I'll stop the recording now.